Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a new not no frills unboxing. <laughs> I know this is a grocery bag, but that's because I went to Michael's and Michael's doesn't provide bags anymore. So I just used a bag I already had in my truck and it was a no frills bag. So this is all from Michael's and I'm really excited. So I'm just going to move the bag out of the way for a minute. I'll pull things out one at a time. And the first thing we have up is Aunt Lydia's Fashion 3 Crochet Thread. Now, I recently made a beautiful, um, to me anyway, beautiful necklace and bracelet for my Auntie Erna's 97th birthday. And I used this size of crochet thread. And I love this size of crochet thread. And that was the first time I've ever used the Fashion 3. I have a lot of the tan at home in beautiful colors. I don't like the tan. It's so thin. It's just like a little like thread. And um, this is thin as well. But I can use this with a 2.5 millimeter hook, which I like. Because it still is a thicker on the end hook. Um, and I can see this better. I love this thread. Now... I wanted the yellow, and Michael's had the yellow, but I didn't get the yellow. I got the light green because I already ordered the yellow online from a different company because when I checked Michael's, they said they didn't have any yellow in stock. And I have to understand, I have to learn that Michael's is never right ever about what they have in stock or out of stock. So many times I buy something that says it's in stock and it's not. It says it's out of stock. They do have it in stock. I just think they're not able to keep up with their website in my local city. So anyway, I really wanted to get the yellow, but I couldn't because I already ordered the yellow and I didn't need two balls of yellow. So I got the light green and this beautiful lilac color. Perfect for spring. Don't these remind you of lilac trees? Like that's a lilac tree right there. The leaves in the lilacs. Oh my God, I can't wait. We, we had like a major snowstorm overnight and this morning and my poor dad was out there doing like, I don't know, there must have been three feet of snow over my car and then, oh, it was terrible. But anyway, it's melting now, so it's warming up. So hopefully this is, was the last storm of the season and we don't have any lilacs growing or any greenery whatsoever except for the evergreen trees. So I'm very excited to when I'll see these colors in the trees. And I have a lot more of these coming that I made an online order. And I really wanted the yellow badly, but I'm going to have to wait for that to come in. So I think I have like yellow, black, white, um, burgundy, and a rust color coming in the mail. But I thought this will be good to start with. I don't want to spend too much money because I already spent a lot on the other um, order from online. And my, my never-ending quest for paintbrushes. It just never ends. So anyway, I was following a tutorial that asks for a mop brush. I don't have a mop brush. So I didn't want to spend a, like a ton of money on it. But here's where it's, what it says these brushes are for. So there is a detail brush, a fan brush, um, the round brush. It shows you the kind of lines they can make. The square brush, like the flat brush, and the mop brush. So anyway, I didn't have the mop brush. And I always need more of these fan brushes. And I can use these. So these aren't really bad quality, but they're also not really great quality. These are like, I guess, student quality. But what I liked about them is these thick handles. I don't know why they're flat at the bottom, maybe for mixing stuff, but they're flexible. Because I, I, I get like pain in my hands when I'm using things that are too small. That's why I like my big, thick, chunky crochet hooks better than the thin ones. Like, if I could find crochet hooks that had all of this kind of thing on the end, I'd buy the whole set. But the sets that they have that have the squishy stuff are super expensive. But this is a beautiful set of paintbrushes. How they'll work, I don't know. But there's I can use these all. And especially the fan brush, because it's kind of wonky, right? Like, they, they didn't put it together. This isn't the best. But that's okay, because when I'm using a fan brush, I'm pretty hard on it. So if I wreck it, it won't be that bad. But it's much thinner. But look how wonky that is. Like, it's not even straight. So Royal and Langnickel is supposed to be, like, an okay brand. This had really good reviews. But you know what? Maybe just the way it was in the bag, it got... It could have been just the way it was in the bag. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I will wash all of these, and I'll 
let's leave them out to dry and then I'll put them in a cup so they're standing up and hopefully they'll be okay. But I'm excited about these brushes. I don't remember what I paid for them. I do have my receipt here. They were $12.99. So it's not like the dollar store brushes, right? But it's not like the good brushes where you're paying like $20 for one brush. This is supposed to be like the student grade brushes. So I'm hoping these will be okay. And the most important thing that I went there, this is why I went to Michael. Oh no, not yet. There's one more little thing before I bring out my big thing. I got some more clear glue because I've been, um, I've been using it for my, my, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't think of words. My diamond paintings to seal my diamond paintings. Usually I use the more expensive clear glue that costs like three times the amount of this. And then I just test it with some of this and it works exactly the same. So, and so far, no peeling, no problem. So this is what I'll be using in the future, unless there's a problem and then I'll switch back. Absolutely no smell that I can detect from this. Doesn't trigger my asthma. But anyway, that's not what I'm excited about. I had a 40% off coupon, which is why I was excited. But it's only good for one thing, right? So I got this beautiful set of Liquitex Basics paint, acrylic paint. Because you guys, I have been absolutely loving painting. I am so happy that I started doing this. Like, I really do enjoy doing it with Procreate on my iPad. I do. The digital painting is fun. But this is better. I like this so much more. Like, I love... I love my iPad. I love drawing and painting on my iPad. It's great because you could do it in bed with the pillows behind you. You could do it anywhere, basically, right? But there's something so nice about working with actual paints. I, I don't know what it is. I'm really enjoying it. So here's the colors that I got. So there's primary. Here, hang on a second. Let me grab my glasses. I had them right next to me, and I forgot to put them on because I don't need these just for sitting in my room. You know, I only need these when I'm looking at words. These are my reading glasses. All right. So we have primary yellow, cadmium orange hue, alizarin crimson hue, primary red, dioxazine purple, primary blue, phallocyanine green, Light Green Permanent, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Titanium White, and Mars Black. So, almost all of the tutorials that I've been watching are just mixing primary colors black and white. So I thought that's good, because I am running out of those colors in my set that I have. I have that beautiful Montmartre set that was my very first set that I bought uh, around Christmas time, and I opened it on the channel and I've been using it. I did some um, Christmas ornaments where I painted little trees and like Northern light backgrounds and snow and you know, Christmas trees, those kind of things. That was the first thing I did. And I've done, I think three or four paintings since then with them. And I just used the dollar store stuff for like the background, like to prepare the canvas basically. And sometimes I use the black and white from the dollar store stuff. But this, these are much bigger. So let's open them up. All right. Let's open these up and take a look. Because the, uh, the little tubes of Montmartre that I have, they don't go that far. So I've been worried I'm going to run out of the, the, the yellow, the red, the blue, like the primary colors. And the white, definitely the white. But look at the size of these. These are, I think these are double the Montmartre or maybe triple or, I don't have them on hand so I can't compare. But what I can do, these are four US fluid ounces or 118 millimeters, okay? And I think I've got my receipt right here. So I paid $46.79 for this set of 12, $46.79 Canadian, and that is with the 40% off coupon. So I think these were like $70 thereabouts without the coupon. And 
my Mont Mart acrylic paints, I have a set of 24. So I have double the colors in my Mont Mart ones. And they're beautiful. And they're cheaper. They were only $36 for 24. And these were $46 for 12. And I did have a lot more colors, but a lot less um, stuff inside them. This is 118 millimeters. And the Montmartre ones are 36 millimeters. So 36 and 36 is 72. And 72 and 36 is 118. So these are three times as big as the Montmartre ones. So these should last me for a very long time. And I'm hoping I'll like them. I almost didn't get this set. They had a smaller set. They had like a, the, the, the six pack where you could just get like the basic primary colors. Like you could get yellow, red, blue, black, and white. They had that. But it was like the smaller containers. They weren't these big containers. And I, th I thought, you know what? I have a 40% off coupon. I'm just going to get this set. Hopefully, it's got to be better than, like, the dollar store stuff. And I honestly do not mind the dollar store stuff. I got to be honest. I think it's fine. I mean, it's not as nice as my Montmartre paint. But if this is even close to the Montmartre paint, then that's good. But the Montmartre paint, to buy the bigger bottles, is quite a lot more money. And um, if I have to do that, like, if that turns out to be the one that I like, maybe I will. But I thought, I'm going to give this a try. A lot of artists on YouTube use this. It was um, recommended to me by some artists on YouTube. And the colors aren't, like, the same colors that they use, like. But there is the alizarin crimson, which I hear about a lot, and the ochre. But, like, the primary colors are, I think, what I need most. Like, this is primary yellow. So, when I'm watching... And this is primary red, okay? And this is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, alizarin crimson. So this is like more of a pinky red than this one. But I like that I have two reds. And I like that now I can try to mix without being terrified I'm going to run out of colors. Because every time I try to mix, I'm like, oh, I'm going to run out of all my Montmartre colors. And I'm. it just makes me worry. Because I love those paints so much. I really do. I got so lucky with buying the very first ones that I, I thought of and like liking them so much. And I'm not making much sense because I was trying to close the box and talk at the same time. And I can't do that, apparently. So, here are my things that I got from Michael's. And I'm very happy with it. And I need to stop shopping, you guys. I really need to stop shopping. It's out of control. And even having said that, I have found a new craft that I want to get into, but that goes with my other craft. And I'm not even going to get into that now because I am bambly, babbling, but I'm very happy with this. I love this size thread and I don't know why I've gone all these years of my life crocheting without knowing about the Fashion 3 thread. Because you know why? They have it with the, the number 10 thread. I must have just assumed it was all the number 10 thread and never looked closely. But you'd think I would have accidentally got the Fashion 3, even by accident. But this is so much better than the tan, if you don't have good eyesight. I love it. And it still gives you that nice jewelry look, you know? This is a beautiful thread. Anyway, I'll let you know what I think about the paints once I get into them. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Notification bell. All those good things. And leave your comments. I love reading them. And thank you for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. All right, guys, take care, stay safe, and happy crafting. Bye for now.